Hello and welcome to the Great War Western Front. I've been waiting a while for this game, played through the demo when it was on Steam a little while back and really enjoyed it. So now it is finally out and I'm excited to play through the campaign. I uh, put it up to a vote on my YouTube channel and you guys selected the Central Powers, so I'll be playing through as Germany here. Put it on Soldier Standard Difficulty and let's see how this goes. And I'm going to skip through the cutscene here. It is quite long, seemed a little buggy when I watched through it. So we'll just uh, skip through. Here we have the German campaign, 1914. Germany was surrounded on all sides by powerful enemies. War was declared on Russia, but Germany pushed through Belgium to capture Paris in order to remove Russia's ally and keep the war to one front. This, however, triggered Britain's defensive alliance with Belgium. Unable to reach the sea to outflank Britain, Germany was forced to dig in. In an unparalleled act of humanity, British and German soldiers agreed to a ceasefire on Christmas Day. Both sides entered no man's land to exchange gifts and start up a game of football. Others took the time to rest, repair their trenches, and recover the dead. This act of compassion was never to be repeated for the remainder of the war. Soon after the event, the orders came down. Push forward, take new ground, and defeat the enemy. So we have an event here, which is to defeat 10 French companies for 400 gold. Seems like a good deal. Let's check our um, research here. Time shells, we have the air burst ability and poison gas ability. Um, hmm. Air burst might be good. I like this logistics ability. Um, can it increase the supply cap pipeline? Intelligence, I, I don't know. I'm a little hesitant here. I don't know how much that's going to help us early on. Infantry, I think that's going to be important right away. Um, I have some blast power for grenades. I imagine that'll be useful for clearing trenches. And then trenches, let's go with um, the upgraded firing trench right away too. So some basic defensive things to help us win the early battles. Nothing fancy. Don't need to spend money on supply right now. Um, and our objective is going to be to take out 10 French companies. What can I see here? So we've got some French in the rest of these regions. Um, so where do they look weak? Verdun, they're strong, but we kind of have them at a um, geometrical advantage there. Maybe we'll take Lunaville? That might be a good one. And let's see. Send just a couple to Colmar because that's our flank. I don't want to get uh, completely taken out there. Trying to figure out where to disperse these reinforcements to make the most difference. Could maybe take Hazelbrook. Um, that looks like kind of a weak point in their lines. And let's see, where can we put a big stack? I kind of like to take this Belgian flank, but maybe around here. Um, Soisson uh, looks weak. They only have one, it looks like one core there. So we've got two core left. Um, just kind of looking for anywhere weak on the line. Maybe right here. Am I not selecting the right guys to move here? Yeah, here we go. So where should this first attack be? First, let's upgrade the supply depot. That'll give us more supplies to attack. And we've got three core here against a lighter French contingent. Let's see if we can push through. All right, so we have three core. They have two. Um, so we got an advantage there, but we are attacking. Um, I think we need to be pretty measured with our attacks. Uh, tried to go a little all out when I was testing this game a little earlier today, and that really didn't work out for me. So we'll put some pretty sizable trenches up front there. Um, just to kind of be our, our forward post to hold uh, in front of between X and A and then Y and B. Let's see, we have some decent trenches here already. 
So I'll just put a uh, communication trench here so we can move guys between seamlessly. And then in the middle, let's see. Trying to see where to put this. Uh, keep a little communication line open. One thing I'm excited for in this game is that things will persist between battles. So we don't have to worry about, um, you know, something we're building only being useful for this battle. We can look forward to the next couple because it's probably not likely we're going to sweep the map in one go here. And let's definitely build up these trenches because this is where I plan to attack from. Um... And then we've got the artillery component. Oh, and machine guns. Can't forget machine guns. Now this is tough because they're they're placed on angles, so it's tough to completely cover uh, a trench the way I'm sure you'd want to. But we'll see where the best place to put these might be. Just gonna try to put them again on on angles so they can cover as much of the battlefield as possible in front of my trenches. Um, then it's artillery. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll try going too heavy and too light. Uh, maybe just too light and one heavy. I don't want to go too... Um, I don't want to say heavy again, but spend all my points on artillery and then not have points to call in troops when I need to. So we're down to 143 points. Let's kick it off. And here we go. So it looks like we've kind of got the advantage in the battlefield right now. We've got 22 out of a possible 30 companies called in. Now I'm wishing I called in that balloon. That would have been really nice to have. We've got some artillery we can call in. Um... I'm guessing they probably have some machine guns around here somewhere. Let's let's put this on fast forward and see if they're going to attack us at all. While we kind of plan next moves. We've got some supply. Just 25% is reserved for combat, so we can definitely call in more companies if we need to. It's calling in more artillery that we'll kind of have to watch it's our basic we only have the basic artillery attacks and those are six and nine points for uh, respectively look at that they can cover most of the map not all oh here we go here's an attack i think it looked like i saw something did they turn around Oh, it looks like we already got a, a French company defeated. So what do I need to launch an attack here? Got probably eh, six companies I can call in. party. I'm wondering how many companies is good to call in versus how many makes it just wasteful. All right, that's another company turned around. If they launch any attacks right through here, I'm I'm in trouble. Maybe I'll just send a company through there. Just 
just to have somebody there to hold it. I don't know if that's actually wise, but it would make me feel better. Oh, we're at we're at capacity, that's why. So here we have another attack coming. And yeah, they if they keep sending uh light attacks like that, we will be just fine. We have new befehls, now we're on the next Looks like this might be a little bit of a hill. We'll see. And I do have my guns to call in as soon as we see something worth shooting at. Maybe I'll send one company first, get a little better view of what's going on. And there they go, they're already sending artillery at me. We will have them pull back. Ideally, if anyone lives. All right, so we lost the company. We've got lots left. We know we will definitely need I wonder if I, can I send orders while we're paused? Yet, no. Uh, yeah, I can. I can pause and send orders. So that's helpful. So let's plan this attack. I'm going to try to take. I'll send two companies at each of these trenches. Um. The one thing that's hurt me is it doesn't look like you can fire out the back of the trench. And that obviously is important if you want to hold the trench and not just clear it out and run away. So I'll send one company, two. Wir müssen diese Stellung halten. Bereit machen. Die Generäle wollen diesen Abschnitt haben. So I'm thinking if I send them right now and at the same time call in artillery, that should kind of hit at the same time. And where would be the next place to suppress? Probably here, I'm guessing. Let's see. And looks like we encountered a bug here. Where it wants to deploy a machine gun, perhaps. Let's get in this trench. So we didn't quite, quite clear a trench. Um, we did relieve the burden on our supply officers by having a lot less troops to feed. That's one thing we did. Lucky, lucky company here that I completely forgot about. Let's pull these guys back. So one thing this has captured pretty well is how difficult offensive operations are. Oh, that's why. I thought it was a bug. It's I wasn't in the arc of fire for this gun. And there's the range of it. Oh, let's just fire at this trench. No reason not to. So do I push for another attack? Or do I kind of wait for them to come to me? I've got a lot of companies left and I'd like to gain some ground here. 
And I guess I could also wait for the next battle and then just keep trying to push forward. Could also just keep pounding at these trenches. I'm wondering how many companies it'll be worth sending here. Could just keep firing at these guys and see if it'll clear out the trenches eventually. And let's see, we've got a few companies here we can send. Wonder how much it'll ruin my supply to just keep dropping artillery like this. I'd love to capture A. So this is my light battery. Let's drop a heavy battery on this second trench again. But actually, I don't want to hit that trench because they're not in oof. They must have seen where my infantry were. Yeah, so they must have a a company out here somewhere. And I've got a replacement coming up. Let's get out of here. Oof. All right. We're calling up a replacement company. We're all getting in skirmish formation. This, there's going to be, we're going to be facing enemy fire. And I think this is going to be my last attempt at a charge for this, this battle. Because I think there's, number one, I'm running low on infantry. And two, we're running low on supply. And three, we're running low on time. So let's pause this. And for now, we're just going to put a general aiming point right there. This is our suppression. So we'll drop suppression on this trench. Damage on the front trench. And let's see how this goes. So with that front trench getting damaged, that should limit how effective they are. We've got a machine gun over here. But I think we should be able to make it. Let's slow this down. Yeah, I think we should have this trench. I think we'll be able to take some of these trenches. Yeah, we should be able to clear out the French from this trench. And I think we should be able to take this next trench as well. Now we've got to hold it. But now they're going to try to push me back out of these trenches. So I'll bring up some more companies to try to, to hold. I don't know how well that's going to work. Is there anything I can do to turn this trench around? Oh, 
I'm hoping that some of this artillery I'm calling in is going to slow their advance into my trenches. My trenches. They're mine now. Man, I'm going to try to keep dropping artillery on them. Even in these trenches. Just to slow them down. Hinder their movement. I do need reinforcements up here. ASAP. If I want to hold these trenches. I want to have any hope of that. We'll see if I can hold. And I think I can get my guys in this trench. Yep, so we got that French company out and we hit our objective of taking out 10 French companies. So that is good. We are down to 55 supply, but we managed to take uh, some enemy positions here that put us in good shape um, for the next battle because being World War One, there will be a next battle wonder if I can claim this trench right, right here I know I'm going to lose some guys doing this but hopefully this Wow, did both companies get melted? Oof. Oh, being in this trench, I think they're able to use grenades and fire on the uh, machine guns. Awesome. That is big. Uh-oh. We've got to do something to keep... These trenches held. And hopefully they can get down in the trench before... Oh, three machine guns. Alright, before I lose another entire core, I think I'm gonna... Uh, take a little break on that one. Uh, I'll have to hit them with artillery if I want to get anyone else moving. We'll just absolutely delete that with artillery. And it's a minute 40 left. You know, let's, let's bring up another company just to make sure I hold. I, I do not envy the guys being called up in this trench here. Are they coming to get me? Well, at least that company held a little bit. And the French turned around. I think we made some progress here. Um, took some nasty casualties. Really nasty casualties. But we gained a lot of ground. And I, I don't think there's any way to do that. To do one without the other. We'll wait until the artillery stops and then jump in this trench. I'm guessing it's got to stop in just a second here. Yep. Hey, look, I timed it well. Something didn't go awful. And I think we'll just hold out there until the end. So we did manage to cross a decent amount of ground here. Look at that. Ceasefire, one by inches, not by miles. Let's see what kind of stats we get after this one. After this ugly, ugly push across no man's land. So it is a loss. Um, and some trench melee combat victories. So we had the efficiency medal. And what's that? Life medal? Preserve the lives of men under their command? That is certainly not something we did. So it's a loss. But I don't know. If we can actually hold this trench, I'm okay with it.
and I'm still learning this campaign system. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna shape up. Okay, so we see we got some replenishment costs and global supply. So maybe I do need to be a little more cautious with my uh, attacks here. Is which, I'm trying to see which, uh, oh, that's right here. That's where our attack was, but we've got a few more core there for next turn. Anywhere else I can launch a decent attack. Got three core here. You know, I think I'm going to sit tight and maybe go on the defensive a little bit. Let's see how this goes. And what do we have going on? A thousand gold. Some research points. Do we have the British blockade? And defeat 10 British infantry companies. How did they get points? Oh, we actually want to do the opposite here. And I'm going to push right back in the same... Same exact spot. I want to see how this looks with my trenches. Oh, and I could have uh, done some research first, too. I should have done that. I know there are some bonuses I can get. One thing I'm definitely going to do is use observation balloons. Hmm. So it doesn't look like the uh, land we took last time had much of an effect. I wonder if we can push through the middle. How would that work? And just up, maybe upgrading some of these to provide a little more protection to our guys. Because I anticipate being attacked. So support, let's get a balloon up here. I still want to push this front. I feel like this is the best place. And... Guns, guns do not hold over between battles. So we'll put enough artillery here um, to delete anything coming our way. Maybe a little bit on this side as well, just in case they try to do something else sneaky. A couple machine guns, nothing fancy. And what else? Yeah, let's throw a machine gun here. Don't really need a lot of those. And what do we have? Oh, we've got elite German infantry. So we have higher damage and resilience among those guys. I don't know. Do I want to use them for attacks or do I want to save them? I've got a lot. I think it, I answered my own question by saying I have a lot. I think I'm gonna just punch through with elite infantry. Maybe the answer is leading with some regular infantry and then oh what am I doing here it's not what I want to do at all deploying guys I never meant to deploy can I undeploy them So I learned that backspace stops them. All right. We've got artillery, got infantry. Let's see.
All right, first let's pause, get a sense of what's going on here. I don't like that scrolling slows down when you're paused. It makes me feel uneasy. All right, so we've got our elite infantry gathering here and they have a balloon too. They have multiple machine gun nests. Um, I have a tr pretty substantial trench system over here. So we've got to suppress this front line. The weak spot's here. If I could hit this front trench and then take out these machine gun nests, that's going to be my shot. We have new and where are the extra elite infantry I called in? I know I had more. So we're going to have probably seven companies of infantry. And then... For guns... Are they shelling me? So I can suppress these two with light guns. I'll call in heavy guns on these two to weaken them. I think that's what I'm going to do. So first, let's get all these guys in skirmish formation. And get them moved up a little bit. They're going to see me coming because they've got an observation balloon, too. I wonder how my elite infantry is going to do here. Oh, there we go. There's the first one. So they know we're coming. I think the best thing to do is keep moving. All right, paused. Heavy artillery. Let's hit this front trench. Light. Hit one machine gun. Hit the other machine gun. We're still going to have to take this one on. Head on. Um, maybe I could actually hit this one with a... Hmm. They're going to hit me first, so I'll hit them. All right. So let's pause and assign some targets. Let's see. And I'll send another elite team over that way, or company over that way. Another elite team here. Let's see how it goes. So they're going to be suppressed and weakened. And that should hopefully prevent them from firing at me as effectively as they would otherwise. I'm hoping I can at least make it into the trenches. I'm going to slow this down. It's a little choppy when I slow it down, but I know that's a tough thing to execute. See. All right, now we've got an elite company in that trench. So we've got one trench held. And I'm hoping to just get my guys in these trenches so they're protected from the machine guns. Now I'm in trouble because they're... They've got my number, and they're bringing in lots of troops. Danger close here on these. Hopefully my other companies can get here quick enough. To uh, hold this trench. I've got elite infantry versus the French infantry. So I'm hoping that means that I'll be able to hold them out. 
you'd think just being, you know, my guys are elite and theirs aren't, that it should make the difference. All right, so we got one of those machine gun nests done. Let's get this other machine gun nest out of the way and start working on this third one. All right. So we got one of their companies taken out, but the next time one of their companies rolls in, our guys aren't gonna hold. I'm just gonna start pounding at that trench with artillery and hope that helps me hold out until my reinforcements get here. I need my reinforcements here quick. And where's more artillery because we're getting shredded by machine guns before we even make it. I think we've got enough artillery that we might have taken them out just with brute force. Let's get our next wave in. All right, so we've got two companies in the trenches. Whew. I wonder what happens if I just hit this balloon with artillery. We're going to find out. does some damage to it, but not a ton. All right. I wonder how much burning through all the supply is going to hurt me later. Or if it'll hurt me now. We'll find out. So a heavy artillery barrage burned through about half the hit points on that blimp. I don't know if blimp is the right word for that, um, but whatever it is. So I'm guessing another one might do the job. Can my guys see to, to fire through this? All right, so that machine gun nest is out. Let's get these guys retreated since they are so beat up. We did manage to get rid of all the machine gun nests. So I'm happy with that. And they're, of course, firing back with artillery. I think we'll just need to keep feeding infantry here to make sure that we've got the firepower we need to hold out. So we'll get this French company out. I think we're winning that melee. But we've got another attack coming right up behind them. What I need is trenches facing the other direction. And more infantry. Bereit machen. In Stellung gehen. 
I wonder if I can sneak some infantry behind them here. Drop another light barrage on that balloon. Make sure that goes bye bye. And here we go. We're in the trench. We should have the advantage with elite infantry versus French regulars. And oof. Um. Yeah, I'll admit that one was my fault. I just left some guys hanging out outside the trench. Um, it's bad for their health. And I'm gonna try not to do that again, but no promises. I think I've got an artillery advantage here. We do have more companies coming up. Let's get them in these trenches right away so I don't forget about them and get them killed by accident once again. And here we go. We've got another melee battle going here. Probably going to lose this one. Wonder if I could send another company up to help. Where are they firing at me from? So if I just hit them with another artillery barrage, that should do the job. Tough thing here is distance. When I call in reinforcements, they've got to go a long way. So these guys managed to hold out. Let's stay here. All right, so now the, the French have to kind of cross some no man's land to get through. And I'm hoping that gives me the um, defensive position I need to hold out. Let's pull these guys out before they die all the way. We've got a couple companies that are in super bad shape. thinking my elite infantry should win here but I don't know we'll see if throwing this regular company at them will help enough and I'm just going to try to reinforce with more elite infantry to make sure I hold this position I actually haven't used artillery much lately so I'm hoping that we'll offset some of the supply troubles I'm certain to be causing myself. Who can I call up? I'm just going to call up this company from the back just to make sure that I can reinforce, especially with some of these companies that are pretty weak. I'll pull them back. I said I will pull them back. Um, get some fresh troops in. All right, so now we can reinforce from here. This is big. This is really big. I'm thinking we can try to maybe just sweep left to right here and push through, um, take out their machine gun nests. Now that we've got control of this trench system. I'm hoping that if I can stay in these trenches, I could just chuck some grenades at the machine gun nest without exposing myself. Machen. In Stellung gehen. 
We'll see, though, if I can get close enough or if something terrible happens to me. That was completely predictable to everyone else but me. So once we get in position here, let's see. Can we... Oh, we made some French friends. So we'll try to stay out of the range of that artillery. Can I hit this? Yes. This command limit is something that's causing me a bit of uh, consternation. But we'll just keep pushing on. Um, oh, we've got a fresh elite company here. And now that I've got that close reinforce point, that's really nice. Did I already pull a company back here? Thought I did. Let's push through. So we're definitely losing the, uh, you know, casualties battle here. But we took ground. And that's what's harder to do. And here we can see some other French troops moving around. Alright, so now we've got some more of our troops heading this way, which will help when this very unlucky French company gets here. They're about to have an excessively bad time. Because I've got two elite companies just waiting for them to hit. Yeah, they're... They were done before they got here. Alright, so what's next? I think I can keep clearing this trench system, maybe make a move to their HQ, or do I sit tight? I think I'm going to sit tight. Throw it on double speed, see what happens. Um... And now hopefully with these three companies here, any small attacks they send just like that will defeat before they even get to the trench. Here's another just one company attack. I think we should see the same result there with just regular rifle fire. They're not going to make it. So we're down to four minutes, and hmm. let's rotate out some of these heavily damaged companies. Make sure we get the, uh, the reinforcements we need to prepare for another attack. I don't think it's really worth it to move my guys out of the trench, out of the line of fire. I don't think that would really help them. So now they're launching a slightly bigger attack. We've got two companies. Um, one's in melee range. They've already taken some hits. The second one's not going to make it to the trench even. What do we have here? They're just kind of running around. We'll defeat this company that's in melee right now. Yeah, that company is defeated. 
I will pull back my damaged company and replace them with someone fresh. I wonder how that works with your um, core as this time goes on. Like, will this be a damaged core? I wonder how that'll look. Here we go, finally something bigger. One company down. Ooh, this is much bigger. They're kind of running around like chickens with their heads cut off here. But I think we can hold out against this attack. Yeah, we've got artillery hitting just right in the middle of their formations. But I could use some more. Wow. Yeah, this is a big attack. Um, where can I put these guys to help out? So now they did come at me. Finally launched something sizable. I think I can hold out, but I'm not going to guarantee it. One thing this should help with is the uh, the casualty ratio. Them launching a huge attack like this. That is a lot of troops. More. They're sending more. Luckily, I can call in reinforcements from real close to help hold out. And wow, that's a lot. I don't know where... Th they must have been saving up for a long time for this attack. We're still turning around companies, but... Good thing there's not more time left in this battle, because I don't know how long I could hold. I was thinking the casualties were in their favor until until the end there and that might be it so let's see how this there we go look at that 2035 a stalemate everyone gets minus three they have much more replenishment cost than me because they lost 8,000 basic infantry and I lost a little bit more they got more efficiency but I got a control point capture destroyed a balloon some trench emplacements so I think that all in all works in my favor that I was able to capture some stuff very curious to see how that uh, looks next time I revisit that place now that we're back here wonder what uh, upgrades I missed out on. I think we can go with flight. Um, kind of curious to see how that works. Think it'd be helpful for me. Mission intel could be useful. Um, what do we have here? Reduce the supply cost of balloons. Hmm. Improve our aircraft. Wire defenses. Mortar emplacements. What's this one? More gold per. Just some volunteers. Eh, I don't need that yet. I think I might save that one. We can improve our machine gun emplacements. Let's go with wire. I think that could be helpful. So I think this is a good place to call it for today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have played this game and know more about what's going on than I do, please drop a comment and let me know what you think. And I'm excited to uh, play through the rest of this game. Thanks for watching and hope you have a good one.